In this video, we're gonna check out the newly renovated rooms at the Rio Las Vegas in 2024, next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Tonight, we are returning to one of the older casinos that had its heyday with their carnival buffet, an amazing masquerade area that is the Rio. And the Rio is actually taken over by new management and new ownership, and it's gonna be partnered with a mix of Hyatt and a company called Dreamscape. I guess Dreamscape is their first ever hotel property that they're managing. So far, you're starting to see changes like the lights at the Rio. This is the Ipanema Tower, I believe. It's all lit up once again. It used to be dark for the longest time. The taller tower over here we stayed uh, a couple years back, it's lit up again. So they refixed the lights on the outside and they're slowly building some new restaurants. There's a new cantina that just opened, a food hall. And I'm gonna show you all that here in this video. So let's start with the tour. Starting with the outside, the lights are shining bright once again. Ipanema Tower is all blue. There are red lights streaking up and down the taller tower here. There's even a moving light display here. Even the Rio sign is lit up and the classic maracas. Those are maracas, right? This right here is the front valet pickup for the Rio. And the taxi stand is right over here to the left. Let's go inside and check out the lobby. Some of the older signage here is Welcome to the Rhythm of Vegas. Reminds me of the Gloria Estefan song. This is their lobby bar right here. And right now they are in the middle of their big renovation. So there are still construction areas all around the casino. Rio is no longer ran by Caesars or Wyndham. It's just the Rio Rewards. Eight times faster, free play than the other rewards cards out there. And you can pick it up over here. Before we explore more of the newly renovated Rio, I wanna talk about today's sponsor, Timu. Imagine your favorite store combined with a dollar store. Sounds great to me. Whether it's travel essentials or tech stuff, you can find super affordable prices on Timu. But wait, what if I told you you could spend even less and save even more than the originally listed prices? That's right, by searching my promo code on the search bar, DKS3744, you can save even more more on Timu. Users can even claim $100 coupon bundles, saving even more than usual. And the savings don't stop here. New app users can get even more exclusive deals. You can even get the Xiaomi Redmi Earbuds 4 for only 99 cents. Also get this, you can get this best-selling universal travel adapter for only two bucks. This is the best deal you're gonna find anywhere. Somebody pinch me, I must be dreaming. New Timu users, make sure to click the link down below to check out even better deals. This is their old masquerade bar near the masquerade tower. The elevators are over this way. And this is where they used to have that masquerade show. I've never been to Carnival in Rio de Janeiro, but I've been to New Orleans and this kind of gives me a New Orleans-ish vibe. Instead of Zoltar, it's Merlin the Wizard. On with the renovation, looks like they're starting to build up this bar here right next to Kiss World. And look at this Kiss Gene Simmons tongue wide open car right here. Every person's favorite mall snack, Wetzel's Pretzels is up upstairs right next to Chippendales and Smashburger near the Masquerade parking lot. But this is the Kiss World where you can play miniature golf. So let's check it out. There's even a arcade here with a Kiss pinball machine. Some Kiss claws over here. You can get some rubber duckies. Look at all those platinum awards here. And it says rock at your own risk. And here it is. This is the miniature golf area right next to Pac-Man's arcade party. I grew up playing Tomb Raider, the original one on PS2. Comment down below, have you guys played Tomb Raider in the past? Right at the end of Carnival World is the WOW Vegas Spectacular Theater. Here is the Royal India Bistro. It's been here forever and they do have an all-you-can-eat Indian buffet. And it's right next to their comedy cellar, which is over here to the right. An elephant's greeting you here in the front. And here is Guy Fieri. El Burro Borracho. Yeah, that's right. Guy Fieri has a spot here at the Rio Las Vegas. Here's a breakfast spot, Hash House A Go Go, originally from San Diego. And there is a place in San Diego called the Tractor Room. Here's a tractor in the front right here. It's currently closed, but 
It's telling you to visit the All American Bar and Grill or the Sports Deli. Tons of awards and pictures here, and they were even on Man vs. Food because they're known for their big portions. There's Adam. Right next to Hash House of Gogo is their fitness center, and the hours are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. So it looks like they have a few live fitness machines and about six treadmills, some weights over here, and a uh, free weights. Not much, but you have to go outside to check it out. Let me show you. And it says, when you feel like quitting, think about why you started. The next day... This is the entrance to where Hash House of Go Go is. There's the swimming pool, which is under construction right now. And this is the door to the fitness center, just so you guys know, because it was kind of confusing. They are quickly trying to put all the renovations together. They did coerce me to come here. I did get an email from Rio Rewards, which I didn't even sign up for. It's probably because they switched from Caesars and they probably took all the client list and moved it over. And I'll tell you exactly how I was able to stay here for free. And this is the Penn & Teller Theater entrance, their box office and the theater entrance is right here. And there is a Starbucks on this corner, which looks like it's closed right now, but it's open during the days. Right by the Ipanema Tower hallway is the All-American Bar and Grill. I think they do room service here. It is Lunar New Year, and they do have the Dragon right here. Right next to registration, and the Pho Da Nang Vietnamese kitchen right over this way if you want some fun, a cold winter night. There's also the sports deli right by the race and sports book. It's ran by William Hill. And this is where you can place your sports bets. There is the bar. It's a smaller sports book, but it works. This is the KJ Dim Sum and Seafood Chinese restaurant. Go through these Chinese entryway right here. If you want some Chinese food, come on in. It's your classic Chinese spot. The famous carnival buffet is no more. They have turned it into the canteen food hall. And there are seven places to choose from. From a famous Philly cheesesteak spot, which I've tried before, over at the Phillies ballpark, Tony Luke's, to some chicken tenders. Ooh, Raising Cane's might have some competition. And then you got a burrito spot, burger spot, ramen, and sushi. So let's go check it out, take a little tour. The new canteen here in Rio, which used to be the World Carnival buffet they're taking a page out of resorts world and they have an ordering kiosk right here well two of them and you can order from the seven places so you got a shogun ramen right here then add a boy burger to the right southland burrito co and nama nama sushi and sake here in the middle and there's the philadelphia cheesesteak spot tony luke's southland burrito company has a seating area here with the red and white awning and then it turns into a green and white awning and there's your soda machines and this place right here is called tender crush it's new york fried chicken and from uptown to k-town so we got kang's kitchen korean barbecue right here and there is a new star Starbucks being built, another Starbucks, and it's in the Ipanema Tower hallway area. I think this used to be the old Starbucks, but that's Kang's Kitchen right there. Let's see what's new in the renovated area. So don't get confused, the Ipanema Tower elevators, both sides, the left side and the right side, will get you to the same spot. And there it is. Discover your next flavor obsession. Seven new spots. Right next to the elevator is the new convenience store for the hotel. Check this out. They do have Rio merch. Stay Palm, La Rio Las Vegas. Even more stuff here on this wall. Looks like women's gear. And it is hot in here. They got the heater blasting. You could pick up drinks and snacks over here. And some amenities that you may need or toiletries that you need that you might have forgot. Hallways are a bit confusing, but this is the renovated towers. Right, Over 2,000 rooms have already been renovated. And these are new carpet designs right here. Look at this. It's like a red, green, and yellow, creamish, swamp looking carpet design. And I'm all the way at the very end of the hall, which is fine because it's not going to be allowed over there. Guarantee you that. It even smells like fresh paint in here. Get that scent of the newness. And they got like these lights here that are shell covered. And this is my room, 1150. You can tell brand new signage. 
I like the signage on the door here. It says, please make sure to completely close and secure your door upon both entering and exiting. This will avoid interruptions during your stay and also is for your safety. Sometimes these doors don't close all the way and people don't pay attention and that's how you get robbed. All right, vacationers, it is time for the oh so popular room review. I had to last minute find a place and for some reason this week, I don't know if it's because of the knitting convention or because other conventions are in town, but prices were sky high across the strip and on a Wednesday night, I couldn't find a place. As a final Hail Mary, my prayers were answered. I got an email from the Rio Las Vegas saying that I could stay at the Rio, the newly renovated Rio for three nights, comp nights, and it's not sponsored. It's actually through their Rio rewards card, which I believe it was probably transferred over from my Caesars card and they just got that email list and sent that to everybody. So I could have stayed here for up to three nights, but I only need one night. It was perfect because I just paid for the resort fee, which was about $39 plus tax of 45 bucks. Comp night, I'll take it and it's a renovated room. It looks like I'm one of the first few people, if not the first person to stay in one of these renovated rooms. When I was checking in, the gentleman told me that it was about 2,000 of the rooms have been renovated and they have plenty of rooms. There's another tower, the Masquerade Tower, that's still being worked on. So they're really moving fast in getting these rooms renovated and I got the two queen high floor Ipanema tower room. I'm sitting on this nice couch, brand new. Remember that couch that was gross last time we went to the Rio a couple years ago? Well, this is a brand new couch that can eventually become gross. You got like a brown, orange, and yellowy pillow and it's actually a pull-out sofa, which is a good thing. And the only desk we really get here is this elevated coffee table, which is fine. I'll probably eat some dinner on here a little later. It's like a little L-shaped couch you could lounge on over here and it's a huge brand new TV that's what I like about the Rio renovation they have a huge brand new TV and their interface is pretty good and to the left side is this leaf that's illuminated and it acts as a light this is the two queen beds and the carpet I just noticed is brand new it's brownish pattern type carpet nice and plushy looks really clean because guaranteed they just installed this within the last few months very comfortable bed you could tell that they changed the bed bed frame is leather and wood does look brand new so you have the queen bed right here and the queen bed right there I took a nap over there already on that side but I think I'm gonna sleep on this bed tonight giant bed stand in the middle this is cool this is next level they have USB and USB-C chargers there as well as an alarm clock that has another USB and USB-C charger and a really nice lamp with different colored rings also acts as an outlet and then bottom there's a large drawer and a cubby hole on the bed stand. The view is overlooking the mountains and the ghetto part of Las Vegas so you could kind of just see all the way to the mountains. Not that great of a view on this side. The curtains are new too. It's just a huge floor to ceiling window and you can open the curtains and just get a lot of light in here during the day. They also have this wooden lamp right here and there's a USB and a USB-C charger and an outlet but it's a little too high. It would be nice if they had like a little coffee table stool or something right there so you can put your gadgets and charge it over there as well because you're gonna need a longer cord. It's too high from the ground. This area is really nice. It's almost like a mini bar area without any mini bar stuff like drinks or snacks. But you got your white and gold ice bucket with the tongs and four plastic cups, your Las Vegas magazine. Fancy, the strip sexiest tees. And you also got those envelopes so you can leave a tip for housekeeping. The telephone is right here as well as this mushroom looking white lamp. Some sort of tribal design here with a heart that's broken. You have this wooden full-size mirror that's really cool. It has a nice little cutout design. And like I said, the TV's got a pretty cool interface. And right below, you actually have this one drawer here. You have two shelves. You have one of these larger refrigerators. On the right side is where you can keep your community stuff. On the left side is where I'm guessing they're gonna eventually maybe put a mini bar, but I doubt it. There's so many rooms here, they're probably not gonna use that mini bar. And it's not even turned on on the left side, so you gotta use the right side. Did request a microwave. They said it's a fire hazard, so they can't bring a microwave, which sucks because hotels need a microwave, man, or something to heat up your food. Here in the entryway, you do have the double locks and the notice to make sure your door is tightly shut. There's a door to the next room over, so if you need to get another room, they can connect if you need them to. I do like the squiggly design. They have the two lights that are surrounding this wooden mirror right here. Nice design, very cool. Huge countertop, one sink here, four 
drawers here, you get the Nest New York Wellness Body Cream, as well as some cotton balls and your tissue box. They also have a vanity mirror here that lights up, as well as your hair dryer and a makeup towel. Those makeup towels have shown up everywhere lately. There's a nice picture of Rio de Janeiro, that strip that's overlooking the water, and then you can see the mountain top, and it looks like it's during carnival with all these beautiful ladies roaming around and dancing. This is the closet area. You have this huge cubby hole that has a gold hook you could hang your jacket in. But you have a luggage rack here. The safe is elevated so it's almost eye level to you, which is cool so you don't have to bend over and put all your stuff in there. I like these elevated safes. You can just go right to it and you don't have to fiddle around. And they give you about 10 different hangers, so I hung a few things here. And they have iron and ironing board and a nice ledge up top. Made it here to the bathroom. They do have a door to separate you from that sink area. There is a gold hook right here. It's a walk-in shower. You have your floor towel. A nice cream and brown brick looking design wallpaper. I like that they have a, a rectangular cubby hole so you can reach your hand in there and turn on the faucet so that you don't walk in there and you're surprised with it being too cold or too hot. The toilet, the throne is low to the ground. Where the camera is is where the towels are. Nice huge sink over here as well. Every Everything's brand new. You get your body lotion there, but you only get one toilet paper. They didn't give me a backup toilet paper, so if I run out, yeah, boy's in trouble. And you have the same design wood mirror border, and then the squeak view line lamp right here as well, and a ton of different towels, and you're good to go. So there is your renovated room tour of the Rio Las Vegas and a little tour of the downstairs area. They are under construction right now and they really are really quickly putting this renovation together. I'm actually kind of excited to see how the pool looks because they're deep into construction over in that area. The new canteen food hall looks really cool. There's seven different spots. We're gonna miss the World Carnival Buffet. That was my favorite buffet in the early 90s coming here. You got really good value. I think it was only only like 18 bucks or something like that and it was like the top buffet in all of Las Vegas. Now the top buffet is either Bacchanal at Caesars Palace or The Win. Let me know if you guys want me to do some sort of canteen food hall review of the seven places. I'll be honest with you guys, I was gonna eat at one place there but I ate so much food in the last video over at the Durango that I have so many leftovers that I don't want those leftovers to go to waste. So I'm just gonna eat that for the rest of this uh, day or two. One night complimentary stay. It was only $45 total and I was in a pinch and I needed it and it's brand new, it's clean. It has everything that you may need for a basic stay. Yes, it's away from the strip. It's really not that rockin' of a casino but there were a lot of people down in the casino and bar area. The Rio Las Vegas, I actually thought they were gonna demolish this thing and turn it into like the new Las Vegas A's ballpark or something else. But obviously new ownership, they're named Dreamscape along with the Hyatt. They're partnering together to make this resort run and let's see if there is a renaissance of the Rio Las Vegas. Comment down below you think it's gonna work. It looks all right. If it weren't for a complimentary night stay and a renovated room I probably wouldn't have stayed here. You do still get free parking. Let me know what you guys think if you want me to do a canteen food hall review in the future and check out Las Vegas 777 Let's Go. It's my Facebook group. Over 4,000 Las Vegas lovers and we talk about news and the ongoings around Sin City and check out the new channel Jaycation San Diego where it's anything and everything San Diego and it's devoted to my hometown. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers here real quick so I'd really appreciate that. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of the new Rio Las Vegas. It's still a work in progress. We'll see you next time. And in the words of Jaycation, stay traveling Las Vegas. Let's go!